Alright, I've cleared out my storage space on my hard drive somewhat, so I don't have 20 million gigabytes of crap stored there anymore. So I can fit another video in today, let's, or several, I don't know, fuck it, I uh, have, I should have been sleeping a while back. Ooh, glowy thing, oh my god, oh it's purple, it's the, it's the, uh, the, the, the don't worry about that story spoiler, it's fine. Um, alright, so we're going to, uh, impersonate a nice person, let's do this. Access to my rocket pod. But it goes the other way, damn it. Alright. Let's go! Hello, 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 hello. Now, my goal for this. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 job foot. Alright. Acquire a spawn in the piece of. Okay, so my goal. My goal is to not do objectives multiple times because I didn't look at the objective I'm on the map, so I'm just gonna kill these fuckers for now. So I'm gonna this though. Uh, did I get anything? I did actually. Uh, I got this is an Icebrew Saga NPC, but he kind of applies to be just around here, maybe, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think they started releasing them when the Icebrew Saga... Oh, hi. Um, uh, but, 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 uh, you are facing a char who's had no sleep in fuck knows how long. Everything's fine. It's locked down. I don't need sleep. I can sleep any time. Uh, die, please. Just give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I really need to go to the trading post. I've got like a hundred gold there waiting in three items that I meant to flip like six months ago and then now they're worth nothing. <laughs> Everything is bad and I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, make, 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 make. I kind of just like trying to be energetic so I just don't pass out. That's an exaggeration so I don't go like super low energy. But I may end up having another coffee but I've had so much coffee today that the caffeine is kind of making me up great if I have too much, but I haven't hit that point yet, I hit it yesterday. Alright. Get fucked! Apparently, that's happening to me. Uh, hang on, 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 and it makes perfect sense, just like the Masada armor. Alright, let's go. May have become human. Void. Uh. Fuck. I may have. Alright. I may have screwed the heart, but I think I have to come back here anyway. Maybe. Um. It's fine. I can complete the heart and come back and get the rewards at another time. So, yeah, so these are the spawn here that I was talking about the other episode. So you see how he looks different, like these, because these are characters and in any spot here as well. Uh, so yeah, they're not fully ice brewed. They still have some sentience left, but they are definitely. We used all the thaw elixir. Go and gather ingredients to make more. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything myself? Because I'm surrounded by idiots. You there? Get out! We have no more elixir. Okay. Um. This guy doesn't seem too bright. Did you not hear what I said, you crunching mongrel? <laughs> so I can here. help. You speak? Hmm. You have power around you. Potential. Help make Lixer. Perhaps yes. Perhaps no. You obviously don't have the intellect of a sorcerer. But perhaps... Perhaps you could be my assistant. Listen closely. First... Go out and gather the ingredients on this list I give you. After that, you must find the hottest, purest water source. Heating water with fire will not do. It must come from Tyria's heart. That is where you will put it all together into the elixir. Bring it back here. Do not drink it. Do you understand? Do not drink it. Uh, yes, bring back. Sure, we're not a mesmer. Some flawless acting, some flawless solution skills there. Although, on the topic of the acting, um, 
the child voice is one of the few that's kind of believable with the uh, the forms because it's going like, oh yeah, I am spot and blah 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 blah. But um, normally, it, like it's like the Asura character or like a female human or something. They don't sound like the part at all. Um, uh, let's get a little over the area. What is that? Yeah, so there's a claw of jaw mag flying around in the sky on this map. And there's one in the ice here. I think, I don't actually know this, but I think there was meant to be one in the uh, original version of this map, but they cut it because this whole area looks like an arena where a boss will spawn. So, because it, it's, it's so open and flat. So I got the feeling this head would become active or something. I don't know. Alright, so I don't need to complete this heart, fortunately. Let's go. Okay, so I need to acquire... So, find a source of cold resistant eggshells. Find a fire stone. So, search the forest for eggshells. Maybe we can find some animals there or something. This is probably one of the most unique environments in the whole game. We don't... I don't know if we've actually ever seen tree models like this anywhere else, but it's like a foresty sort of thing, which we... It's, it's unique to a bit of Forest Frontier. There's some mushrooms as well. So bring ice to the heart of one's masteries. Excuse me, sir. I don't want anything to do with you. Although there is an event here which may or may not still be bugged from the launch years ago. I don't remember. And they might have fixed it, maybe, um, for this release. Because they're kind of because they've been re-releasing the living world stuff. Just changing where my mic, my mic is on my face. Um, yeah, because they've been re-releasing the living world stuff um, in preparation for End of Dragons, which is perfect for me to piggyback off and gain like ten more views than usual. Um, it's a lot for me. I like it when there's other players and stuff and things moving around in a vista that makes it cooler. Um, yeah, so this is actually one of the best farms for getting some ascended trinkets in the game. Uh, we won't be doing that today, but these berries are very useful for that. Someone's opening this. Shells. I totally don't know where I'm going. This is my first time playing this, of course. Totally, definitely, I haven't done this many times. Um. Ooh, what could this be? I should talk to the person first rather than doing the hard and then realizing I have to do all the shit again, though. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh. The griffins in this corpse are protected. What is your Watch out for Svania. They come here regularly to abscond with baby griffins, and they take swings at us, too. They're not smart enough to understand that if you kill all the griffins, there will be no more eggs. Not the sharpest icicles on the roof, are they? No, they are not. And yet, they are a formidable foe. We've been forming alliances against them. Even Grawl are smarter than the Svan. Yes, but they are fierce. It is for this reason that we Coden are pursuing an alliance with them. We're working together to keep this region safe from Jormag, to preserve its natural and uncorrupted state. I wish you the best of luck, and thanks. The Svanir will not overcome us. I think I bugged out the Quaggan's dialogue there by trying to get this person to turn around, which is unfortunate, but they essentially just say, Ooh, blah, 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 get eggshells and we can use them for elixir. Blah, blah, you don't have to around. thank Quaggan. Quaggan <laughs> takes care of the baby <laughs> griffins <laughs> because it's fun. Have you seen them? Adorable. Okay, so essentially we are finding abandoned griffin eggs because they're being killed or turned into ice fruit. Uh, but the eggs haven't, so we're trying to save those preserve the griffin population in the area. And when the eggs hatch, we can take those for ourselves to use in the elixir. So it's a win-win for everybody. 
except the uh, ice breaker things, which want to kill everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get. Cool. That one's especially cute. <laughs> Too many. If I was completing the hard, I would need quite a few. When you do this event on what was a hard repeat constantly for the center gear, uh, hearing that call before it's really annoying. Shut up. Quaggan takes care of the baby griffins because it's fun. Have you seen them? Okay, I need to murder some folks. I can harvest these though. Because I use the winter berries in the elixir. Alright, almost there. Thank god for all I loot. Hello. Your friend is the easier target. There we go. Might as well help this player out. There we go. Let's go talk to the girl. So I just need a fire stone. Maybe they can. Maybe they can. I think that was what some of the other dialogue would have said before. I would have been like, oh, you know where I can find a fire stand? They would have said, oh, check out the rules. Look at that. That dialogue. No! Oh. You, you, you! Who you? What you want? You to come Hello. Down. I come in peace. Seeking allies against the Svanir. Any enemy of the Svanir is a friend of ours. It's okay, Huga. We can talk. <laughs> talking, talking, always talking. Those who aren't already corrupted by Jormag must work together if any of us are to survive. I'm glad to hear that. I'm looking for ingredients that will help in a fight against an ice brood. What do you seek? A firestone, and the whereabouts of hot springs. A firestone? The Grawl here have them, but you'll have to earn their respect or they'll never give you one. What's the strategy? How should I go about it? They love their goddess. If you construct a shrine to honor her, I am confident they would reward you. And please be as respectful as possible with them. We need this alliance to last. Alright, so... A little, little easter egg here. Well, not really an easter egg, just uh, some funny lord. Oh my god, that was... I need to see that. Go back. Wow. Alright, well... Let's go have a look at their, uh, their god. In order to find chicken feathers anyway, I think I need to be in here. Who could that be? That's Jora. Oh, there's an event to defend her right now. Hang on. What the? What, where, who, where? Where? What's happening? Where is it coming from? Okay, I can't be bothered. Um, let's just get this vista. Yeah, so that statue is of Jora, who was one of the biggest characters in the Eye of the North campaign in Guild Wars 1. And the sister of Svanir. And the girl seemed to have just found a big statue and been like, ooh. And, uh, yeah, that's just, that's kind of how they roll. Uh, still no sign of whatever the hell I'm supposed to do with this event. Oh, well, I'm gonna murder some chickens. I kicked it into a fire. Do I get bonus points for that? Kick. Kick. This looks cool. And these fire stones, oh, they kind of look like, um... What was in the Dwarven contraptions in Ember Bay? What are these? They kind of look like branded crystals, but with a fiery theme, but they're not. This is interesting, we've never seen anything like this. It's got some similarities to like the brand and like Blitz Layer sort of stuff. Interesting. Could this be another dragon's something or other? Fascinating. Oh, are these drawers are something. Oh, yeah, it is. I have no other done. Drop my I'm curious. I'm the oldest of the tribe. I remember all the story. Tell you have any questions? I do. What can you tell me about your tribe? The tribe is strong and healthy. When trolls stay away, the tribe carved these ice caves many seasons ago. Trolls can't have them. No, no, no. Ook. Uh, God, it's a weakness. Protect tribe from trolls. I see. All right. Not much to tell there because they don't know what the fuck is going on themselves. Now. I found another chicken to kick. <laughs> and let's get the rest of the other the ingredients outside. And I should buy the stuff from this girl while I remember. Rock! You enter our territory. Step softly. Shut up, My or I'll friend kill you. and I keep an eye on things around here. 
I suggest you respect our authority. There's a mini chicken. I can just buy the fire stone like right now. Until we meet again. For the sake of the story, let's do what we have to do. Let's get more sticks and shit. I have sticks. Shiny ice and sticks. Give me a little bit more of that. Okay, so I can just stop before triggering the full animation because these uh, nodes have only one thing in it, so they're different from normal gathering nodes. Give me that, dodge that, jump on this to get away. That didn't work, I'm gonna just run. And last but not least, except it is kind of least and it's not important whatsoever, but. It's fine, it's fine. Um, we'll craft a shrine to Jorah, which will look absolutely completely like Jorah, and I'm an artist, and this shouldn't be questioned. Happy! Shrine good! Of course. I'm glad Choco Kuka likes it. Ook is good! Ha! Stone for you! Just what I needed. I don't suppose you know where I could find fresh, hot, very hot water, do you? Yes, indeed. There are springs not far from here. You will find very hot water there. Thank you. And good luck. Long live Choco Kuka. Oot oot! Tori probably despises this girl. Because the child probably do because Finish they hate that. gods in general and Grawl. That's their whole deal. My friend and um, I keep an eye on things around here. Do I have the fire stick? I suggest I you respect okay, okay, our that's good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, I know exactly where to go. So I'm gonna go then out. Okay, so I should probably just go in the back way. Just to get a bit more exploration. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Looks like we've got some Jotun architecture here. This is something like a weapon salesman or something back there if I remember correctly. Uh, are we under attack? Still almost clearing coast from that, that, that. Okay, no, not under attack. I think he's just getting dark. Let's talk to this person. And hopefully a certain event doesn't trigger while I'm uh, here. Are you friend or foe? Friend, I mean you no harm. Quaggan is very glad. Quaggan doubts Quaggan could outrun you. Though Quaggan would try. Maybe in water. <laughs> you don't have to. I'm here for the hot springs. I heard they were the hottest interior. One of them is hottest. Not for bathing or swimming like the others, only for cooking. Why do you need water so hot? I have to make an elixir that'll get me into the bitter cold. Once there, I plan to kill one of Jormag's minions. <gasps> oh, boo! Quaggan fears for you. You must not do something so foolish. <laughs> I'm resourceful. Now, where's that hot spring? What you seek is not far. A quaggin will not show you where. You run towards your death. I'm not going to die. That would be well advised. Goodbye. Probably forever. So sad. I think this may be my favorite Quaggan in the game. Um, a certain brutal honesty. Now, cook the elixir. I don't need to do this hard either. Which is yeah, like they added a lot of value to the hearts in Living World Season 3 without actually forcing you to do them for the story. So you can breeze through the story. Like, and it's still a good length of story. And, but then not. But then do the, heart, the hearts more in your own time for the actual rewards. They need to animate the elixir. Oh, it's really hot water. Will work nice if we so, right. This stuff makes my nose twitch. Commander, you busy? Only if you count fighting Svanir in Ice. Oh, just another day on the job, huh? Well, I wanted to know whether you'd had any luck finding an altered minion. 
All the ones I'm seeing are normal. But I have a lead on something. I'm working on getting to where it is. If I were a supposing kind of genius, which I am, I'd suppose that Primordus must have soaked up more Mordramoth energy. Maybe proximity matters, and since Jormag's so far away, it didn't receive as much Morty juice. Makes sense. That would explain why I'm not seeing any altered ones yet. I'll keep looking, though. Try not to get killed in the process, okay? I'd miss our little talks. Bye-bye. Over and awesome. This definitely seems to be another choke in the focused area, and these mushrooms What's are fucking next? evil and I need to leave. Um, there's another little area I want to show you quickly before I fully exit this. Oh my god, okay. Look at this. There's a bit of Frost Frontier Magic Gatherer achievement, you know where to go. Forgot that was there. Another very cool Skyscale skin. They're themed after a certain thing, which I don't want to explain yet. Um, now. Oh, there's another one over there. Now, this is interesting, because this seems to be very deliberately dark thing we have here. I can just sit down and just get right there. This is some sort of vent or whatever to send hot air or hot water to the surface that was very deliberately made in order to heat the area. So what could have done this? Is it, is it dwarven? Is it dredge? Like, what, why is this here? And it seems, and it has to go down pretty deep if it's this hot. Or, the, or, the, or there's volcanic activity in the area, but someone is deliberately trying to channel heat to the surface here in order to survive, and it's really an interesting mystery that we've got there. Let's get out of there now and go into the bitter cold because I have 19 hours of real life time to get through there, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it in that time. That is a joke thing, can you imagine? Alright, um, let's zip along here. My weapon is still glitched. Let's just zip around with this beer for a bit. Spear confirmed, Ender Dragons, it's definitely happening. Uh, who knows? But I do. Uh, now. There's a certain little, uh, little trickery, trickery, which one can do to kind of zip through this bit of cold environment, because I don't intend on being that too long. Oh, and this is also, actually, this is to sort of learn how to get a, uh, thing if you go through here anyway. Uh, well, the new stone will but I have risk, because you usually die if you don't have the elixir. Through we go. Now, if you land in this cave here, Refresh. you can get a, a mastery point and also a snow leopard. Yes, if you come over here, you can get a snow leopard cup if you want to freeze it or something. Yeah, rescue. Oh, you need Codis Flame, whatever. I already have this, but if you come here with the Codis Flame, uh, you can free it and you get a little snow leopard that it is in your home instance. Add to the, uh, oh, maybe you free that one. I don't know. You, and regardless, you can become a Guild Wars 2 crazy cat lady like you've always dreamed of. Um, fortunately, I don't have to do so much part 4 because of masteries and mounts and so on. So. Lots of ice fruit here. So we would have come through, we, we would have walked through that main entrance there if we didn't have a mastery. Um, four mounts that expire. Uh, Alright. Someone's cleared the way. <laughs> Chill Blades. That's the name of the other thing up here. Interesting. Right, let's go see if we can find an altered ice brood. I'd say we're on the right track, given the uh, the undead things. I need them alive, so I'll have to leave them for a second. Certain mechanic in the boss fight, which I totally don't know about. Well, that is definitely not a regular ice cream. I'm in the right place. Hi. Give me the most damage from all the plants. Death magic soak. Jungle lava and undead lava. Hi there. And die. Okay, so it's immune to all damage completely, so I just need to run around killing these things. Alright, 
I need to run away and heal. If I just wail on you, you can do it. Okay, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. I wasted a heal and now I'm scared. This thing could actually bust me. Um, why did I say bust me? I don't know. That, those are clearly Mordrum Vines. Um, which is even stranger because, hang on, the Vines were Mordrum Moloth. So... Wait, what? Because Wardromoth had technically one gigantic body, it, like, a lot of its things we thought were its minions were actually just extensions of itself directly. Alright, I'll just make a on that later. This thing is getting its ass kicked, which is fortunate. So it definitely seems weak to itself, which is odd. So, but, it, but there's an interesting idea of it being the inverse of... Oh, I'm just gonna wait a second. Give me help. Um, yeah, so the changed Primordus ones were weak to fire, so were weak to its own dragon's primary thing. Whereas this one, ice doesn't seem to have any adverse effect on it, but it's weak to the new things. So it definitely seems to be continuing the idea that... Uh, what did I do there? Let's try not to die here. Alright, I think I'm going to get him now. Maybe not just yet. Maybe this one will do. And it's down. But it was completely immune to all of the damage. This thing was actually pretty tough. I just knew how to kill it already. Timey will be pleased. Oh, so they're giving you achievements. Yeah. Okay, I should look into these at some point. What's next? But I suppose it's good that I'm running through. Um, uh, I wonder if these achievements are only available in this time frame, though. Surely not. Um, well, I just got a lot of stuff from that. Let's get out of here. But yeah, like, look, look at this. These seem like twisted different types of Mordrum vines. And those were an indication that these are an extension of the dragon itself, so... But we know it's different, because Jormag has an actual body, or at least... Well, because it has a fucking tooth, so surely it does. So this is... interesting. Because if these are Mordremoth's power, and these are literal extensions of Mordremoth, then... Are they just severed, like normal Mordrem minions now? Who would have thought? Because it was implied that Mordremoth could only return by having an actual intelligent minion like Savari. So maybe this is just more extensions now that are controlled by Jormag or something. Look at the, the ice and everything. I'm seeing so much more detail than I did last time I was here. This is freaky. This is very freaky. Alright, time to get out of here. Alright, let's speak to the dude up top here again. Can I get up on a sky scale? Let's hope so. Here we go. Nice. Dragon Slayer. I am delighted to see that you have survived your foray into our beautiful countryside. I took down some ice brood. I'm afraid I come bearing bad news though. Oh fool. Quagan knew it. You found the missing herdmates, didn't you? Oh, boo! 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 Unfortunately, yes. There were no survivors. That is quite distressing. Thank you for returning to let us know. We have news on your lost friend as well. <laughs> it's bad news, too. The Svani are looking for him. They tortured this farmer to find out where he went. The Svanir who hurt you, what did they say? Oh, the sorcerer was mean. He wanted to know if Quaggan had seen a tall Norn, bald like Quaggan. He made Quaggan tell him where the Norn went. Quaggan didn't want to, but even more, Quaggan didn't want to die. It's okay. Did he say why he was looking for Bram? Yes, many times. 
He was angry because he thinks the Norn wore a disguise and tricked the Svanir out of an elixir recipe. A disguise? And trick them? Oh no. I'll have to send Timmy's sample by courier. I need to find Bran. He was headed to a cave in the southwest. You might be able to follow the Swanier tracks. Alright, so it looks like we have accidentally set some Svanir on Bram and rocks because we were on a completely different objective. Uh, they didn't know what we were doing, so they, like, they, if they had, they might have been with us. But So now we got to stop a swarm of Svanir from going on down on them. Although they might have a hand, but best to be sure. So, in the next episode, we'll be covering Bran's back. <laughs>